So we're doing something entirely different in this video. What are we doing? We're having a baby. What? Look! Oh, we have, oh, oh my god! We have a, we have a new baby! <laughs> okay! It's Baby Groot! And it's a Hot Toys figure. And I'm super excited about it. This Hot Toys is actually from the I Am Groot television show. I bought this on alltimetoys.com. That's right, alltimetoys.com is a local Maryland toy shop and they're amazing. They carry hot toys, they carry all sorts of cool things, but they actually have one of these left on the website right now. So if you're on the fence and you're wondering, should you buy this thing? You're gonna watch this video and then if you really like what you see, go over to alltimetoys.com and buy yours. And no, they're not paying us to say any of this. I just love All Time Toys so much. They are the best. <laughs> I can't wait for this. This is ridiculous. He comes with all sorts of cool outfits. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look at him, he looks like a piece of broccoli. So this is the I Am Groot collectible deluxe version. So this comes with way more than the regular version. Oh my God, look at all these accessories. This is his drawing that he made. And it looks like Groot is in there. Rocket the Raccoon is in there. Look at this. How cool is that? Oh, I love it. So I guess he can, he can sort of hold his own art artwork. Look at this. It's like pulled out of a newspaper. I thought it was like fan art. Wow, there's a lot in here. <gasps> Look at his outfit. <gasps> yeah, it's a clear one. Isn't that cool? So that's actually from the We Are or I Am group TV show. Yeah, he's got little PJs. Oh my God, he has two different head sculpts or three different head sculpts. So here's one, or face sculpts rather, it's not a whole head. So there is two of the different faces that he makes. But I think the third one's my favorite. <laughs> that's awesome. So they made this figure back for Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2, because that's when we saw uh, Baby Groot for the very first time. We have another Baby Groot. This isn't Baby Groot. It is Baby Groot. I thought it was like Child Groot. No, it's Baby Groot. He's a little this tiny Groot. Baby Groot? Yeah, this is supposed to be like life-size Groot. Oh, I thought Baby Groot Remember? was in the um, pot. In the what? In the pot. Oh, that's another, that's an infant group. And this oh, is baby group. Oh, okay. Look, he's gonna grab What's your glasses. What's the difference between infant and baby <laughs> stop? For real? <laughs> I'm notorious for not reading any Are of the directions. So I'm just gonna sort of just go at it. So you do need to break this. This headpiece does come off. So you, you separate the headpiece from this, the back of his head there. And now you can attach the different faces on. So I can put this broccoli head on him. But this like piece of like, I don't know what this is. It's some sort of plastic vinyl, but it's, you can you can sort of stretch it. It's a little stretchy. I'm probably doing this all wrong. I've I'm got to be, cause this is, this is like not going on properly. How is this supposed to go on? So these little guys, they go on his body, but I wouldn't touch those until you're done playing with like his hat and head. That's so funny. It reminds me of like one of those winter hats, right? Is that what it looks like to you? Oh my God, they're magnetic on his eyeballs? Yeah. This is so stupid. Oh, you wait until you see this. Oh my God, look. He has a little mustache on. This is what he's supposed to look like. Oh, so he's supposed to have the angry little face on. It wasn't that expensive. No, I think it was like two. It was 60, under three hundred. Yeah, it was like two sixty, not seven or something. Two sixty nine. Yeah, usually hot toys are pretty expensive. Well, yeah. especially like this kind. So this is supposed to wrap. This is supposed to wrap around him. This is what you got his head on. Took my uh, really big strength, but I got it. I don't like this. Is it not fitting in there? It's not good. This is the only thing I don't like. So be careful. I'm just gonna break it like you break everything that I buy you. You got his head in there? Yeah, it was really <laughs> Oh my God, that's amazing. Look at his head with the big old, uh, yeah, it reminds me of like a piece of broccoli. So the invisible piece that comes, I don't believe, um, what the hell was that? His arm. I don't think the invisible piece. Help. What? what? Where is it? So the invisible body, I don't think it comes apart. I think it just sort of. No, it's just. Yeah, it's just thing. sort of stays static. You gotta put fun. that in, because I don't wanna break it. Yeah, he's really cool? great. Yeah. I guess he has different looks, so this just happens to be one of the looks, and it's kinda top-heavy, and you gotta put his mustache on him, and then his little chest hair, 
Those little pieces are ridiculous. Look at this. Don't be, yeah, don't be very careful. So here are like little plant pieces that you fit in him. I feel like I would want to glue these inside of him, but you can't really do that because if you change him into PJs. Yeah, exactly, so if you put them in these PJs, you can't have those on, so don't put them on. So in the original one, he comes with the Ravager outfit, and the Ravager outfit is pretty cool, it's like a leather. I should have bought it because I really liked it. Oh my God, look at him. But so I'm glad I'm glad I didn't because now I have the chance to buy this one, which is overwhelmingly epic. Look at this. His what do you have? The piece come out? Oh no! Yeah. See, that's that's raw. I don't like that. I well, wish it would have just come with them already on him or so. I don't know. Yeah, that's I, kind of I annoying. know why they did it though, but it should be a harder plastic at least at the base. Yeah. But I don't know how they would achieve that. But that's what it looks like inside of him. Right yeah, there. look at that. That's cool. Yeah, so it's just like a little added touch. He's fun, isn't he? Yeah, but I'm going to pull these out. Oh, That's you a lost really great chest piece. hair. That's a great piece. He's going to look good next to our, our Grogu, Baby Yoda. He's going to look really fun up there. But uh, let's see. Let's put him in um, Let's put him in this outfit over here. Let's put him in something real, real simple. His PJs? Yeah, the PJs I think would be a cool outfit to put him in. What if you do PJs but angry mustache PJs? We could put him in angry mustache PJs. I almost thought about putting him in his... Because he looks like a dog also. Did you see that outfit? The poodle? Yeah, he looks like a poodle. Yeah, I don't really like that. You don't like the poodle one? He's got like... Come on, we got to put him in the poodle one. I don't think it's going to be that hard to put him in it. This piece right here, it's like a vest. Not a super fan of this. I'm afraid that I'm gonna like scrape the body and like leave like green on it or something. Mm -hmm. It kind of freaks, freaks me out a little bit. Look at the detail on this figure there. Look at the little detail on his feet. That's insane. You mm -hmm. don't need, like you don't need that and they do it. Right. Do, should we dress him like the dog? I mean, we're here. Let's just go ahead and do it, right? So tell me how I put his like little dog pieces on his arms and, and legs is it is that easy or um you gotta pull apart his regular arms and then put these where's the other one what do you mean you pull them apart pull them apart where pull apart his hand yeah okay so you pull apart his hand and then you do what these go on the legs these these go on the arms so there's like a weird like shaped hole on one side <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird shaped hole so you can fit his arm in there and then on the other side obviously you pull his hand through his feet come off I think wait do they yeah they do yeah so his feet yeah. actually come off the little stumps the off. come off does it are these marked as right and left yep left and right thank god they do that so usually when somebody buys one of these things they put it in a pose they put an outfit in a pose and then you're you're that's it you're done we're trying them all. We're doing the whole thing. Are we doing the angry face with the poodle? Yeah, I think so. Should we? I, I think that might be fun. With the, He's going to be an angry mustache poodle. You know, when Max is here, usually he and I do this. But... Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, so you're fun. telling me that's not epic? It is epic. That's Look great. at this. Oh my God. Look at him. Show the back. <laughs> He's got a tail. Oh my God, that's amazing. He's got a little tail. So the last one, we're gonna put him in this outfit because this is what he's gonna stay in. So should he have a happy face? I think he should have. I think he should yeah. have a happy yeah, face. Yeah, maybe a happy face. So just a heads up, if you collect Hot Toys, if you don't collect Hot Toys, you're probably looking at all of these accessories thinking, wow, uh, how do I keep track of all that, Chris? Well, what I do is I actually have uh, bags, like Ziploc bags. I put all my accessories down inside of each one. I mark the outside bag so I know what character it goes to, and then I sort of go from there. It has worked really, really well for me. I feel pretty confident that I'm not gonna lose anything that way. How about the arms? What, how, if I put this on him, how do the arms go on? I will put the arms on first. And this is, how do you know which one's right and left on this? Because I, of how I, they look. Oh, I see, because the little, okay. So the little peg sticking out there. The balls. The little balls. The material in this is really nice too. Did you feel this? Yeah, I want pajamas made of that. It feels really soft. It like, feels almost knitted. It does. It's like a fine knit. It does. It, it, it feels like something you wouldn't buy that a toy goes into. It feels like a personal to wear. 
Too bad his butt flap doesn't come all the way down where you can make like his butt stick out. It's too bad like, he doesn't like out. have a butt. Like it would be funny if he had a little butt crack. Oh my God, it has the smallest zipper ever. By the oh, way, no. I have never had luck with zippers on a Hot Toys figure. I typically do Hold not on. play around wait, with zippers. Wait, 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 don't do anything yet. What you need to do first, because like he mentioned, he does not have luck. Put his hands in. Okay. And make sure that you put everything on where it's supposed, where it's supposed to, go. to be before we mess with the zipper. Okay. So I would even put his head on too. See, I need you around when I'm doing all this stuff. The armor probably wouldn't have gotten broken. Max just let me do whatever the hell I want it. That's okay. why things get broken. Oh, me and Max, we know how to do stuff. Well, guess what? You know how to break stuff too. You want like Limp Biscuit in here. Limp Biscuit? Yeah, break stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, this is brilliant. Ready for me to zip I'm ready. To, I think he's ready for zippage. Should we go ahead and try? Should you or should I? Hold on. Let me see. Will I or will I not be able to do this? I think you can. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> Jeez, he probably has a concussion. Look at him in his little outfit. Isn't he cool? Yeah. What do you think? He's great. I don't think he'll wear a mustache, really. Oh, he's no. wearing the little eyeball things. He can only do that on an angry one. Oh my god. Why would they do that? Why not have it where it's magnetic all around? Why not? Because you shave your mustache off before you get in your PJs and go to bed. We should have him where he's he's got his little fists in, and that way he can do, it'll look like he's dancing, right? You know who does all the dancing for him, right? Um, in the films? Um, I do, but I don't right now. James Gunn. Oh, okay. He does all of his awkward, weird dancing. There he is. He's adorable. Look at that. You can't tell me you don't need one of these in your collection. It just, it just doesn't even make any sense. He's awesome. Favorite outfit that we put him in? I don't know. I didn't think I was going to like the plant ones, but I do. You didn't think you'd like them? Which one was your favorite plant one? I, I really like the one where he looked like um, the dog. I yeah. thought the dog was really I fun. I don't know. I think they're all a lot. The mustache is really fun. I think the mustache is killer. I love that. It's really, really great. I, I like his little angry face. That might be my favorite face. So, they actually have the deluxe version. Uh, why does it say collector edition? Uh, it, it gets all screwed up. Don't mess with it. It's screwed up. Okay, Sideshow is... is I'm, I'm working on it. Oh, there it goes. Hold on. Deluxe version. Oh, join wait list. Is it join wait list? That's what it looks For the like. deluxe version? Yeah, that I makes sense. Hold on, it says collector edition, join wait list, and deluxe version, join wait list. So, you can join the wait list on Sideshow. The deluxe is 280 and the collector edition is 224 look, tell me that is important. Look at the monitor. That's Does he not look like perfect. he's dancing? That's Come on. him. So, I think the deluxe one comes with this invisible version which is some sort of alien in the show i can't remember because i only watched the show oh like it's once. an alien i thought it was water yeah it's like an alien thing i don't know like can copy him I, I can't remember yeah so you said that there's only one left on all time toys yes so one on alltimetoys.com chris will link it in the description below yep. or you can join the wait list on sideshow.com which chris will also link in the description below this is an amazing figure it is and it comes uh, with all sorts of accessories yeah you can make them dress them up in all sorts of ways i think that's fun and what i like about him is he feels sturdy Yes. Like I don't like with normal hot toys, I don't like to touch them much because I'm always nervous that I'm going to break something. I love hot toys, but you have to be really, really, really careful with them. But yeah. this guy, like he feels very solid. I think it's just because it's grouped and he's just like thicker in general. He's perfect. I remember yeah. years ago when the original one came out, people were buying outfits that actually would fit him. I oh, think wow. people on Etsy might make like little outfits for him, so that's really fun. Um, so check that out also if you end up picking this piece up. He has a little sprout in his head. Yeah. Did you see that? That's yeah. cool. Man, that's scary too. I, I, that's the one thing about Hot Toys, like Heather mentioned, they're really easy to like break. I can't tell you how many times I've run into issues where I've like 
broken something, but I think for the most part, Sideshow and all time toys also have been pretty good about doing like returns and things because we're not the only, I'm not the only person on the planet who breaks them. I mean, no. seriously. No. Come on. The, not just me. It, it's hot, hot toys. So si both Sideshow and all time toys go directly through hot toys. Right. And like get things replaced. Yes. So that's, it's really great that hot toys provides that because they know that things happen with yep. these figures. Yes. Love it. I love this figure and I think you should go over to alltimetoys.com right now and buy the very last one. Like I said, one left on the website. They actually have some figures on there right now. They had a C-3PO from Episode 2, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, that is on, I think, on the wait list on SideShow.com right now. Wow. So you, you, I don't think it's even an open wait list. So if you want to get them, go and buy him right now at AllTimeToys.com. Again, yep. we do not get paid by them, but we love them. They're a great local toy shop, and we like to p direct people there as much as we can. They got Toonie Terrors and Transformers Pops, and Marvel Legends. Old video games. They got games, everything over there. All yeah, sorts go and of check stuff. them out. Legos. Man, look Did at you all say of Legos? this. Un yeah, Legos are over there. Let us know what you think about this figure in the comment section down below. We would love to know your thoughts. In every video, we like to shout out to our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we would love to shout out to the following 10 people, because we like to shout out in every video to 10 different people. George Gifford, Laura Ampoala, Sergio Lopez, Sephi Roth 81, David Brewer, Keith Clow, Big Papa Tolan, Yazrai Costillo, Kevin Maxa, and Joshua Learndall. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are the best. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and also the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. The like button helps this channel in a very big way, so make sure you do that. Slam that like button very hard. And make sure you check out our toy company, MischiefToys.com, and buy some new items today. We drop new figures all the time, and we have a very awesome upcoming mystery figure coming soon. So follow us on Instagram at Mischief Toys and sign up for our newsletter on MischiefToys.com to find out all the latest and greatest information you need to know. Join our group on Facebook, which is called Mischief Toys. You can find out everything you need to know and also be a part of an awesome community. We appreciate it. Thank you. You Sh guys are the best. Should we mention anything about the new figure? We will have an announcement of the new figure on Sunday, January the 14th. Yep, it's gonna happen. Well, we'll show you here first on YouTube actually, but while we are live, sometime between 8 and 9 p.m., while we are live, we're gonna also send out an email through Mischief Toys. So sign up for our email newsletter if you haven't already at mischieftoys.com and you will learn everything you need to know about this latest incredible figure that I am so, so excited to release. I have been looking forward to this one for a very long time. Yeah. And it's finally happening. And it's not the Hot Topic figure, by the way. That one is also coming very soon. So we have a couple of really great things coming your way. So check out mischieftoys.com. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around, and thank you for enjoying our brand new Baby Groot. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.